for India. It's the independence question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My, my question is to the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, this morning in this place, I introduced a bill, a private member's bill, the Charter of Budget Honesty Regional Australia Impact um, Statements Bill. And this bill calls on the government to release with each budget or MIEFO regional Australia statements that outline the impact of fiscal policy on those of us who live outside the city. Uh, my question, Mr. Pro Mr Prime Minister, is can you give the assurance to the House that this bill will be brought onto consideration and to demonstrate to those of us who live in rural and regional Australia that our issues, that our issues are taken account of by the government in preparation of its fiscal policy? The Prime Minister has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the honourable member for her question, and I acknowledge uh, her and uh, my colleagues' very keen interest in regional Australia and the impact of budget measures on it. And I note, I note for, Hunter. Uh, for the for the uh, for all honourable members' benefit that uh, in every budget there is a statement, and I have in my hand the one from the last budget, uh, investing in regional growth which is a statement that sets out it's uh, pre presented by the minister for regional development uh, senator the honorable fiona nash and it sets out the uh, impact of the key australian government initiatives in regional australia by each portfolio i think this statement uh, would would largely meet the the matters raised by the honorable member but uh, but i can say to her that we will nonetheless closely look at the amendments she's proposing to see how we can continue to strengthen our support for understanding of uh, regional Australia in all of our government's decisions. It is an absolutely key focus of the government. Most of the regional Australian seats, as the honourable member knows, are represented by member members Eden of Manero. the coalition. So it is always for key in our is uh, I want to uh, remind the honourable members that six of my cabinet colleagues are from rural and regional Australia. They provide a very strong voice on all government policy in the cabinet. We're backing regions through a $297 million Building Better Regions Fund. We're supporting regions to drive sustainable growth and employment through our $220 million regional jobs and investment packages, including $20 million for the Goulburn Valley particular interest to the honourable member. Uh, we, now we are committed, as the honourable member knows, to a $10 million road upgrade package for her electorate of Indi. We are rolling out 30 new or upgraded mobile base stations in Indi under the Mobile Black Spots program. Uh, and there are, I might say, on the matter of the NBN, a matter, an issue the honourable member is very enthusiastic about, there are 7,382 active NBN services in Indi, and over 34,000 premises are able to order an NBN connection, if they wish, including, of course, access to the Sky Muster satellite. So, Mr Speaker, the, the honourable member and the coalition uh, will no doubt we'll, we will uh, have differences at election time, but we are absolutely united in our commitment to regional Australia and our determination uh, to ensure that the budget and every element of our policy delivers for regional Australians. We'll have a very close look at a bill, and I thank her for raising it. Yeah.